Aloha. Welcome. Thank you for coming to today's live stream. My name is Master Paul and I am honored to be with you today. I am a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Jigong Sha. And as a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Sha, my mission is to serve you and humanity and all souls. I do that through the daily teaching, Monday through Friday, same time every day, of all things soul. Dr. and Master Shah is one of the most incredible servants to humanity I've ever come across. He offers wisdom freely, he offers blessings freely, and he teaches his students and devoted uh, um, students how to duplicate this. And so that's why this service is brought to you every day. And I encourage you to share with your friends because we all need to have blessings and awakenings to the intentions of our soul journey. So again, welcome to everybody. I thank you for coming. Today is uh, Thursday and it is November 3rd. And this morning when I was preparing as to what to, to bring to today's live stream, it was actually not that easy. I, I had many uh, things that I wanted to cover, but I wasn't sure what in the right order. So we have to do as a divine channel, we're taught to follow divine guidance. And so as I tuned in, what I heard was just offer blessings to open people's hearts. Not even much teaching, just blessings. So today is going to be filled with practices and blessings for opening the heart. So it's a very special day and I hope that we're able to have as many people as possible on the line. I see a lot of people joining in and, and offering their love for uh, hitting the little heart button. I appreciate that as well. So let me acknowledge some of the folks jumping in here. Welcome Ollie. Welcome Nikala. Welcome Ruchi. Great to see you. I think India uh, time change occurred already so uh, people are able to tune in a little earlier over there. So at 5.30 a.m., I think it's 6 or 6.30 a.m. now. Um, and welcome, Diana. Welcome, Vanessa. I haven't seen you in a while. Great to see you again, Vanessa. Welcome, Kayla Darling and family. And Patrice. I responded to your email, Patrice. Thank you for the kind words. Welcome, Kristen Rojas. And welcome, Brandy. Uh, Monica. If any of you aren't aware of Monica uh, Castro's artwork and her husband's artwork, unbelievable. Make sure you become a Facebook friend with Monica. It's got some beautiful, beautiful art. And then um, also Mel has joined us. So thank you everybody for joining. And as more people join, we will uh, prepare more. So for all those that are just jumping in, today we will be dedicated to healing and blessing for opening the heart and the heart center. And you know, one of the things that is the case with everything that I have been offering and sharing these past four to five months of live streams is that uh, almost every teaching, every blessing, everything that I have done truly boils down to blockages in the heart center. Yesterday even with the teachings uh, for the children, how we can awaken the intelligence for children, that, that was an amazing teaching. You know, I, I looked at my wife afterwards and I'm like, wow, that was a really, really amazing teaching. You know, I learned a lot. It's, it's one of the great features of being able to communicate with you is I'm always learning because the wisdom is not mine. It's coming through from the divine. And one of the things that came through was that there's two major blockages uh, for children's intelligence. And of course that applies to us as adults. We just, we get stuck in our mold because we didn't have the teachings that I offered yesterday. And one of them is the blockages in the heart. And the other was the blockages, of course, in the brain. But the heart actually precedes the brain. And so the blockages in the heart are very often related to karmic. And the flows yesterday spoke about integrating the ten da teaching to all of our children. And I was, as I was speaking it, in my mind, I'm like, wow, that makes so much sense. Of course the heart blockages are related to a, a lack of the ten das. Because what's a lack of humility? That's the opposite of that is ego. And is, is ego a heart blockage? Yes, ego is all about defensiveness, standing up, pompousness, trying to look good, trying to support your cause, yourself, your everything. It's certainly not selfless, it's certainly more selfish. And so this is a heart blockage. And so all of the ten das have an opposite. What is the opposite of flourishing? Most of us are familiar with that. It doesn't feel good. What is the opposite of love, etc.? And so all those are heart blockages. 
And so today, the focus is on opening our heart. I'll be using different mantras to accomplish this. I'll be turning on some of my treasures and sharing them with you to help open your hearts. I'm going to ask our beloved spiritual mother, Kuan Yin, and Mother Mary to join us. We'll ask Jesus and beloved Namo Amitofu Buddha to join us. We're going to ask for their blessings today as well. And so uh, it's just one of those perfect days to to receive it's just a receiving day all right so first let us connect heart to heart soul to soul we're going to ask the source soul song of love peace harmony to come to service at this time so we place our hands in the soul light era soul service hand position we drop our left hand in front of our heart center fully connect close your eyes wherever you're at close your eyes take a deep breath and bring your thoughts your mind your breath Leave the day behind. Be fully present for these blessings. And I will begin. Dear all layers of the divine, all layers of the Tao, all layers of source, original creator, we love you, we honor you, respect you, bow down to you. We ask that you please come to each of us that are present here today, all of those that will be watching this video in the future to align our souls and our hearts and our minds to our bodies. Bless us to align to our original soul's intentions. Bless us to open our hearts. Please guide my practice today. Please guide my blessings today. Please guide me in what to say, when to say, when to offer and what to offer, how long to offer, how much to offer, so that the greatest awakening to everybody's heart occurs. I am deeply honored and grateful to the soul of our individual heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints, the soul of all lamas, sifus, gurus, saints, masters, and ascended masters, Buddhas and bodhisattvas, the soul of all healing angels, archangels, all beings of light, all heavens, animals. We love you, honor you, respect you. I bow down to you and we invite you to please be present with each of us today to assist us in whatever way is most appropriate to bless us to open our hearts to fully become more compassionate more loving to find that depth of forgiveness that is necessary to move forward on our soul journey please bless us to align to the ten das in whatever way is most appropriate we are deeply deeply humbled honored and grateful Dear beloved Kuan Yin, 87 Buddha, Mother Mary, dear beloved Namo Amitofu, dear beloved Jesus, we love you, honor you, bow to you. We ask you to please come to sit in our heart centers. Bless us all as we receive the healing blessings today so that we can release the blockages that cause us our daily suffering. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We ask the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony to please turn on in all souls and all universes. And we ask that as we chant love, peace, and harmony to help self-clear our karmic blockages, align our hearts and souls. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So please join with me. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula, lula, li, lula, lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xin er ling, wo ai tren ren li, wang ni hing rong er mu shi sheng. Shuang ai ping on her she, Shuang ai ping on her she. I love my heart and soul, I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together, love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Eloha mai au, Eloha kakoa pau, Epihili mai 
Who I go, Aloha, Malie Lokahi, Aloha, Malie Lokahi. Ask the Source Soul Song, repeat after me, dear the Source Soul Song of love, peace, and harmony. I deeply appreciate you. Can you please bless me? to open my heart, to release the blockages of this day, that I might have the great, the greatest day ever. Thank you. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula, Lula, La, Li, Lula, Lula, Li, Lula, Lula, li, lula, lula, ha, li, lula. Oh, I wash in her ling. Oh, I turn and lay. Wang li, hing, rung, her musher, shang. Shuang Ai Ping Honor Shi Shuang Ai Ping Honor Shi I love my heart and soul I love all humanity Join hearts and souls together Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you. Thank you, thank you. And I see that 14 people have shared. Thank you so much for that precious sharing. It's very, very um, appreciated. So, just singing love peace harmony twice has brought us into a different space do you notice a difference in the space that you're in now versus when you arrived this is the power of soul so today as indicated we're going to go straight into healing we're going to go straight into blessing i'm going to ask um first of all for kuan yin to offer a flow through me and with this flow i'm going to ask her specifically about the best ways to open our heart center and to keep it open we'll see if there's any insights around getting hurt because sometimes when we open our heart it can get hurt and so we close it and the the downside to that of course is that we miss on so much love because we're not keeping our heart open so there is a way to accomplish that I speak a lot about that in my soulmate attraction system but the very general teachings are this if we do not look outside of us for love, if we do not have an expectation that, that our heart is to be fulfilled by anyone or anything outside of us, such as um, uh, our, our husband, our spouse, our lover, our boyfriend, our girlfriend, if we look instead to love ourselves, accept ourselves, appreciate ourselves, if we, if we are 500 pounds, we love every bit of it. If we have scars on our face because of a car accident, we love every bit of ourselves, Regardless of what we've been taught or said from the outside, we simply forgive them for any comments, forgive ourselves for accepting those comments as truth, love ourselves unconditionally, and love God and accept God's love unconditionally. Although it's a very simple teaching and a simple thing to say, it seems to be one of the most difficult things for humanity and us to comprehend. It is this uh, reconnection to these two places of love that literally solves almost all of our problems. It is when we search outside of us for fulfillment. It is when we, we uh, uh, look for that positive comment, look for that that anything that makes us quote feel a little bit better that we are searching down the wrong road because the impossibility of being fulfilled from the outside from somebody else is simply not realistic and it hasn't worked so why do we want to do the same things that have not worked 
So those are the basic foundation teachings. So let us now move to the receiving part because that's what we always want more of. And this is also very core. You know, we're going to go right now into practice. Isn't that the simplest way of going inside, receiving God's love? We're going to ask the outer souls, uh, beloved uh, Jesus and Mother Mary, uh, to assist us. We can ask for blessings from the soul world because they have unlimited love. They're willing to offer that unlimited love. But we don't want to look in the personal level and the human level for uh, those outside of us to fulfill our love. Not going to work. So, <clears throat> um, welcome Tatiana, welcome Crystal, welcome Diana, and everyone else, if I have not acknowledged you, uh, I, I, please forgive me. I'm still looking through some of the names. I see Angie's jumped in and joined us. Welcome, Nicole. Welcome, Tammy Hunter and John Robert Coleman. Um, so thank you all so much for joining. Uh, Amy, I see you as well. So first practice is opening the message center. Okay, and We're going to do that by doing a little movement to our body as well. Okay, It's called soul tapping. I haven't done a teaching on this, but we're going to do a little soul tapping right now. So first is, of course, soul power. So place our hands in solidarity hand position. Close your eyes. Repeat after me. Dear the soul of my heart center, I love you. I deeply honor you and appreciate you. You have the power to open yourself to release lifetimes of blockages, to align my soul, heart, mind, and body as one. You have the power to help me to release any pain and suffering that I have held in my heart center. You have the power to help me to forgive those that I have been unable to forgive. You have the power to uh, attract to me self-love and align my heart to the Divine's heart. Do a great job. Thank you. Keep your eyes closed. Continue to repeat after me. Dear Divine Tao Source, Original Creator, Dear all the holy beings and heaven's animals that have been invited here today, I love you, honor you, deeply appreciate you. Could you please come at this time? Please come to sit in my heart center. Please bless me for the requests that I have just made. I'm very, very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I will turn on my treasures and then we will do some chanting for a few minutes. Give me a moment, please. I ask these treasures I've just mentioned to please turn on to radiate to every one of the souls on the line, all the souls that watch this video in the future. Please go directly to their heart centers. Bless them to clear their blockages in whatever way is most appropriate. Bless them to open the heart and soul in whatever way is most appropriate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we're going to use body tapping. And how we do that is we're simply going to Whatever is more comfortable for you, you can put your hands in prayer position and gently tap your chest, or you can use your palm like this and tap your chest like this, okay? And so when you do this, um, we connect again at the soul level. Soul tapping is exactly that. So your hand might go from here to here. It might go to your chin. It could go to your forehead. It could go to your hand. It could go to the front of your hand or the back of your hand. The soul tapping is soul guided tapping. We're going to ask the soul to guide your tapping to release blockages to open your heart. So you could have mind blockages and it, the mind blockages might be related to an energy blockage that's running along the back of your hand. Well, if you truly let go, what you'll discover is that your, your hand uh, will just go to different places on your body that you don't even expect it to be. So while we're soul tapping, we're going to chant a simple Kuan Yin mantra. Uh, I will lead you through the mantra and you can tune in as you're comfortable. Okay, so keep your eyes closed. Repeat after me. Dear the soul of soul tapping, 
I love you. I honor you. I deeply appreciate you. Could you please tap my body wherever it is needed to open my message center, to open my heart and release the blockages that I have requested? Thank you. Dear beloved Kuan Yin and 87 Buddha, I love you. As I chant your name, I would be honored to receive your blessing. Thank you. So let us start tapping. We can start tapping on our heart center first, and then wherever your body wants to take your hand, just go with it. And I will start chanting. Namo Guan Shi Yin Pu Sa. Namo Guan Shi Yin Pu Sa. Namo Guan Shi Yin Pu. Now see if your hand wishes to go someplace else. Allow it to go wherever it desires to go. Namo Kwan Shi Yin Pu Namo Kwan Shi Yin Pu Sa Namo Kwan Shi Yin Pu Sa Namo Kwan Shi Yin Pu Sa Pay attention. Where is your hand tapping now? Ask your soul. Why is it tapping there? Namo Ami Namo Kwan Shi Yin Pu Sa 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 For those that have just tuned in, we are doing body tapping to open our heart center. Namo Kwan Shi Yin Bu Sa Namo Kwan Shi Yin Bu Sa Namo 
观世音菩萨，南无观世音菩萨。Continue to chant silently, visualizing beloved Kuan Yin. Sitting in your heart center, and she has her one thousand hands spread out inside your heart center. In each of her hands, she has an instrument of healing or an instrument of divine protection, and each of the hands are moving, they are releasing. Blockages. They are cutting away darkness. They are snipping old memories. They are releasing mindsets, attitudes, old unnecessary beliefs. They are releasing ego and attachments. Her elixirs. Her spells of light, her rainbow blessings, her crystal balls are each radiating light to each of you, opening your heart, open your heart, open your heart, feel your heart opening bigger. Wider, as you open your heart, beloved Kuan Yin's arms and her body become bigger, healthier, stronger. She becomes more powerful to heal you, to bless you, to release the blockages. Namo Kuan Shi Yin Bu Sa. Namo Kuan Shi Yin Bu Sa. Namo Kuan Shi. And now, please repeat this forgiveness, dear myself. I love me. I love myself. I forgive myself for accepting wrong teachings, for accepting messages from people that told me I was not good enough, not pretty enough, not smart enough, not enough of anything. I forgive myself. For accepting those false teachings, I love myself. I love myself. I love myself. Now, notice as you said, I love myself. Where was resistance? Was there resistance? Where was it coming from? Talk to that area, dear the soul of that area, that doesn't want to receive this love at this time. I love you. I forgive you for holding on. Please receive the love that is being offered today. Allow yourself to fully melt. Allow yourself to receive the divine's love, dear God. 
I love you with all my heart. I deeply, deeply, deeply love you with my entire being. You are my creator. You are the one that has brought me into this world. And I am so very grateful. I ask your forgiveness, my beloved divine creator, for any time in this lifetime or before in which I cursed you. If I have blamed you, divine, for my life, if I have cursed you, raised my fist to you, I wish to deeply apologize, my beloved Creator. I am so very sorry for not taking responsibility for blaming you. I know that you are the highest and purest love and I need to feel your love in my heart now and forever. Please, Divine, please forgive me. I am so, so very, very grateful. Divine love, 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 divine love. Divine love opens my heart and soul. 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 And as you visualize beloved Kuan Yin and our beloved Divine God in your heart center, blessing you, shining their brightest golden light, repeat this forgiveness practice. Dear all souls, if I have blamed you because you have done activities that hurt my heart. If I have blamed you for love suffering, relationship suffering, please forgive me. I do not wish to hold you responsible for me closing my heart. I wish to be responsible so I can open my heart so that I can love myself instead. I forgive myself for looking outside of myself to fulfill my heart. I have been holding you responsible for filling my heart and I've been telling myself that you crushed me but in fact, I did not receive love for myself from myself. I did not receive love from the divine. And so I wish to offer you my unconditional forgiveness to all of the souls in all lifetimes that have ever broken my heart, that have ever 
said anything unpleasant to me that hurts my feelings. I release you fully and completely of any karmic debt you have to me. I take responsibility now for all that I choose to receive. Divine love, 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 divine forgiveness, 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 divine forgiveness. Keep chanting divine forgiveness as I will do a flow from the divine for everybody on this blessing today. Continue to chant silently. Continue to tap your body wherever your soul guides you to tap to release the blockages. Dear divine, could you please bow my mouth, offer a blessing offer a message to all of these souls. Thank you. My beloved children, I call you my children because I birthed you. And in the birthing process, I gave you my heart, my lungs, my life, and my breath. I gave you my insights, my wisdom, my purity, and all that I am. You do not remember this because of the nature of your many lifetimes and the forgetfulness that occurs as a result of your misalignment with all that I gave you. During this chanting today, you heard the message of asking my forgiveness for the times that you may have raised your fist at me blaming me for the suffering of yourself or one that you cared about very deeply. I offer each of you my unconditional forgiveness. But in all reality, the only forgiveness that is needed is of yourself to yourself. As I watch my children of humanity self talk in such unpleasant ways to themselves it pains my heart because it takes them further away from my heart this is truly one of the greatest unpleasantries on earth today and if I could offer any message to you, my beloved children, it would be to never again say anything negative to yourself about yourself. Strive fully 
and completely, to uplift yourself, to forgive yourself, to release yourself from all false accepted teachings that you have allowed to enter your soul. I am always and forever with you, in you, around you, and a part of you. I can never be separate from you as that would simply not be possible. So know that you cannot harm me by your statements, but that you can harm our heart-to-heart -heart connectivity by a lack of love for self. I am confident this message will serve many and in it is very deep healing frequencies. Please listen again. I am your beloved divine. No Dear my beloved children, this is Kuan Yin. I too have a message for you. It is your heart that separates you from me, from your lover, from your mother and father. It is your belief that you are not worthy that separates you from understanding the incredible light being that you already are. You have such doubt and disbelief that you are worthy of being a pure, unfettered being of the divine. How is it that I came to be the unconditional servant that you know as Kuan Yin? It was through the same process that you are going through now. It is through the process of disbelieving the ego, of realizing my perfection and alignment with Creator. It is the same for all souls. I offer you my unconditional service and I ask you to call upon me each and every time you find yourself in a place of difficulty, unable to love yourself or blaming yourself. And I will come instantly with my treasures, with my bodhisattvas, and we will serve you. I am honored to offer you my service. Namo Kwan Shurin Pusa Namo Kwan Shurin Pusa Namo Kwan Shurin And now, with your eyes closed, connect to your true and deep 
feelings. What was your experience physically, emotionally? What were some of the positive and beneficial mind thinking? What was some of the negative thoughts you caught yourself experiencing? Pay attention to how your body feels as your heart has been opened with all of these blessings. Let us offer our deepest gratitude. Thank you, beloved divine. Bowing our head nine times in deep gratitude to beloved divine. Thank you to all layers of all holy beings who came to offer their service here today. Again, bowing our head to all the holy beings, guides, angels, saints, heavens, animals. Thank you to Master Shah, bowing our head to Master Shah for bringing this great wisdom and connectivity to Divine Tao and Source. Thank you to beloved Kuan Yin. Thank you, Kuan Yin and 87 Buddha for your incredible service and blessings here today. Countless bow downs, countless bow downs, countless bow downs. So please, when you're ready, open your eyes and share what were some of the experiences of today's service and blessing. Because this was not much teaching, just a lot of um, heart opening. Sometimes that's all we need, right? And while I'm waiting for the sharing to occur, I want to let each of you know <clears throat> that I will be sending out a newsletter probably today. Uh, if you don't, if you're not already on my newsletter list, then please go to my website. I will put a link into the Facebook um, uh, flow here in a few minutes. And but if you go to my website and just scroll to the bottom, you'll see a sign up for the Soul Light Air newsletter. For everyone that's a part of the newsletter, they will have the opportunity to receive a twice a month blessing. This will be an extraordinary blessing um, because I will be offering it two times a month on a consistent basis using my healing treasures and I'll be using a variety of healing treasures, not just one. And you'll be able to change your mind each time you receive a blessing what you want. You will not have to be present. That's one of the beautiful things about this. Your soul will automatically receive whatever you request. So this is set up to where if somebody wants to receive a blessing once, then the normal honor fee for this blessing is $50 one time. If somebody signs up for the automatic uh, deduction, then they'll get two blessings tw uh, twice in a month, every month, and the honor fee is only $30. So you can see where the value is. One blessing one time, the honor fee is 50. Two blessings a month, uh, and it's only 30. And the catch is, of course, that you do an automatic deduction. Now, I made it so affordable, $15 per blessing. Think about that, $15 per blessing. You can sign up your cat. You can sign up your children or your grandchildren or your husband or your spouse. It's something that I wanted to do for a long time, and I finally positioned myself to be able to offer this. It will be offered twice a month on the first and third Mondays. So after you sign up, you'll be given the call-in code. Again, there's not a necessity to be present. The minute you sign up, uh, you just make your request to heaven. Heaven has an Akashic record. They keep all of it. So prior to starting the blessing, I simply uh, ask heaven to please uh, offer the blessing for whatever the individuals have requested, the ones that have, um, that have signed up for the program. And if they have not requested uh, or they forgot, then I ask heaven to offer you the blessing that is most needed and appropriate at that time. And <laughs> trust me, heaven knows what you need most at that time. So this is something where one week you can ask for your sore knee, the next week you can ask for your sore neck, the next week you can move to your finances. You can ask for your finances every time. Next week you can move to something else. But uh, it is an individual basis. So it can't be something where you say, um, well, I want to use my blessing this week for my cousin Joe. Um, in that case, you would actually honor individually for cousin, cousin Joe. So it is an individual blessing. Um, so you can again find out more about that. Let me see if I can, if it, this will allow me to post the um, information on Facebook page here. Give me a second as I look over this and find the right page. Okay, I will do my best. Hopefully this will work. 
uh, write a comment okay so this should be in there now you should see my name pop up with the comment and I encourage you to to not only think about yourself but to think about those that you care about that's why I made it so affordable so you're not limited to just one person um, so now I'm going to read some of the comments and, and let's see so welcome to this <coughs> Eleanor a feeling of warmth in and below the chest area great awareness Eleanor Kristen Strach and that was lovely I felt like kind of a cool tingling happiness the tapping seems to center mostly around her throat interesting my tapping I was going up and down the, the heart line of the of the pinky and then it went down my arm and then it went up here to this uh, clavicle and then it went over to the other arm up and down the hand it, uh, it, mine was kind of all over <laughs> um, and let's see, welcome Marina, welcome Norma. Shari had a clearing in her first soul house, root chakra, great. Jean Wood said, hi Master Paul, she felt calm. That's not a small thing for you, Jean, that's excellent, very, very good. Stephanie says, thank you, thank you, thank you, that was divine timing. She'd been in deep, deep spiritual testing, very intense, and feel that this was the perfect timing for her to receive a very, very good heart opening. Countless bow downs and many tears. You're very welcome, Stephanie, that's great. Monica, greatest gratitude, Master Paul. We experienced the greatest love many, many times. Thank you, beloved Kuan Yin. Thank you, Master Shah. Thank you, Divine. I'm just the messenger. Ande says, uh, I felt a warming and cooling sensation around his hands and forehead. Divine love, divine forgiveness. I am not separate from you. Thank you, beloved Divine Kuan Yin and Master Paul. You're very welcome, Ande. Thank you for your sharing. Uh, Vanessa says, as soon as she started tapping her heart area, she started crying so much she couldn't understand it. Uh, hand tapping would go to her chest area on the left side during where she never noticed it was so painful before. During the forgiveness practice, her grandma came, the third eye was open, her grandma came, and uh, to, to mind who would always tell. Let's see, her grandma came to mind who would always tell me I wasn't good enough. Oh, so the grandma would always tell her she wasn't good enough when she was a kid. And I released her of any responsibility, and now her body feels lighter. Thank you, Master Paul. Great sharing. That's so wonderful, Vanessa. Wonderful. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for participating. Michelle says, calming and light in the chest area. Uh, you're very welcome, Shari. And Mel says, a lot of tears, a lot of releasing. Tapping was around the stomach. Feel very, very light and calm now. Beautiful sharing. This is very, very exciting. Lots and lots of good stuff. You know, it's not, it's not anything that we can't do by ourselves. What's the key? We invite in as many souls from the soul world as possible to assist us. Kuan Yin, in her flow, she said, I am here for you. Her calling is to uplift as many souls as possible. And how is she going to do that if, if, if we don't, uh, you know, bring her into our thoughts? Even just thinking about her, she's instantly there. But if you ask her to please come to help you release the blockages. Soul tapping, I haven't done a teaching on that yet, but you can see the power of it. The soul tapping, it might not seem like oh, we're just tapping our body. No, 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 there's a lot more going on there than that. And part of soul tapping is the allowing. Dear the soul of my soul tapping, could you please tap my body wherever you know to go to release the blockages for opening my message center? You notice that people were tapping different areas of their body. The emotions uh, can be held oftentimes in the digestive areas, so tapping the lower abdomen can release a lot of blockages. Um, Vanessa said that when she tapped her message center that it instantly started crying. Not an uncommon experience for a lot of people because we hold our blockages in here. So this is an excellent, excellent practice that you should do by yourself again and again. Always call in beloved Kuan Yin. Always call in beloved Divine. Remember one of the keys is the forgiveness itself because we, we say so many unpleasant things to ourselves. We accept so many things from outside of us as truth when it's just somebody else's perspective. It's just an opinion that, that could be based on maybe the person that tells us that we're blah, blah, blah was told that same thing by their parent and so they just repeat it. They don't know that they've destroyed you and you didn't, uh, didn't need to be destroyed because you simply accepted what somebody else has said. So you forgive yourself for accepting that and you give yourself a new message, one of truth. And the truth is very simple. You are perfectly loved by the divine. He is in you, with you, about you, and around you. Never not there, always present. And this, this complete love, always present. That's where you fill up your heart center from, nowhere else. So start reversing some of those um, 
taught mistakes, if you will, about looking outside of us for love and start fulfilling your love from the inside. So uh, I'm so very grateful for the opportunity to serve you today. It's been very, very heart opening for me. Uh, I know that some of you, as you're listening to this, probably felt this was uh, a message directly for you. And that is the case for all of you. This message was directly for each of you. Okay, so it's been a true blessing. Please go to my website, sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already. Tell other people about it. You can give them that link um, so that they know about it uh, for the for the once a month healing. I'm looking forward to doing that. The first one starts November 7, and it will be um, uh, Mondays. Okay, it will be on Mondays, but again, you don't have to be present. And it's gonna. I think it's gonna be 11 a.m. Hawaii time, which is like one in the afternoon California time. I think it's four in the afternoon East Coast time. So if you can be present, great. If you can't, you're gonna get the blessings anyway. Okay. So I love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody.